Over 100 staff at the University of the South Pacific in Fiji have protested the leadership of Vice Chancellor Paul Alualia. The protest, led by the USP Staff Union, alleges mismanagement and calls for salary adjustments. Finau Funua has more. The staff of the regional university gathered at the Laudala campus in Suva to vent their frustrations over the leadership of Professor Paul Alualia. They allege poor management and are demanding a salary rise as well as a non-renewal of the vice-chancellor's contract. In a statement to RNZ Pacific, USP says its management continues to work with the staff unions regarding their grievances since they were raised earlier in the year. The protest occurred during the 96th USP Council meeting on 27th and 28th of November. USP Staff Union President Elizabeth Fong says the protests had been sparked after a paper of grievances they submitted were not included in the council's meeting agenda. They decided that the staff paper would not be on the agenda of council, and that is where this gathering of unity among staff took place on Monday and Tuesday to show our disdain for the staff voice not being heard. Um, Did he give a reason for why he wouldn't include it? Basically, the reason that the pro-chancellor then gave said these are issues that should be sorted within the university. However, these are issues that have not been sorted over three years. And there was, we had no other course of action to take but to go to the university council. Professor Aluwalia was appointed vice chancellor and president in 2018 and only returned from Samoa in February this year, where he led the university in exile. In 2021, Aluwalia was deported to Australia by Fiji's former government after he produced a report alleging financial irregularities under his predecessor, the late Professor Rajesh Chandra. It provoked outrage among many, including Elizabeth Fong, who at the time publicly condemned the deportation and defended Alualia. We welcomed him, we stood by him when he was treated unjustly. As a union, we look for justice for workers. We saw him as a worker. He happened to be the vice chancellor, and we stood up for him. So there's disappointment on a number of fronts, and that has resulted in our decision. So far, Professor Aluwalia has remained silent on the issue and hasn't publicly responded to the protest. He maintains the support of students, including the USP Student Association leaders. General Secretary Emosi Vakarua told RNZ Pacific via email that the association backed the renewal of Aluwalia's leadership. We support and stand by the decision of the USP Council and we'd like to ensure that students have a safe and enjoyable journey whilst at the University of the South Pacific. However, not only did the USP Council deny the staff papers to be presented in the council meeting, but they also renewed Aluwalia's contract. Since its inception in 1968, the University of the South Pacific has provided education to thousands of Pacific Islanders. Many politicians, doctors and civil servants in independent Pacific Island states are USP alumni. Fiji Deputy Prime Minister Biman Prasad, himself a USP alumni and a professor of economics, expressed his concern to media but was optimistic about reconciliation. On a positive note, he said the protest reflected a freer Fijian society. Uh, we obviously value the um, freedom that uh, workers in this country uh, needed. So, uh, Whatever university staff, the grievances they have, uh, we would ask them to work with the management and indeed with the council to resolve this. And I'm sure uh, those issues would be resolved. Close to 30,000 students are enrolled at USP campuses throughout 12 countries.